All right, so we're gonna learn how to groom a horse in this video. Before you start grooming, you wanna make sure that you have all of your equipment out for the lesson that the horse is going to need. The first thing that we're going to do is use the hoof pick. And we're gonna start on the left side of the horse. A great hint is that the buckle is almost always on the left side. So it's a good way to know that you are on the left side of the horse. When you're picking a hoof, you wanna always be facing the horse's tail no matter which direction you are. You're gonna line your shoulder up with the horse's shoulder, gently bring your hand down and you wanna cup the hard part of the horse's hoof. You're going to use the pick side of the hoof pick to go along the crevices here around the horse's frog. Then you can use the brush to brush it off. The frog is very sensitive, so you wanna make sure that you don't dig hard at it. Once you're done picking the hoof, you're gonna let the leg gently down. We're gonna go now to the hind leg. Same thing, run your hand down the back of the hind leg of the hoof, or the hind leg of the horse, grabbing the hard part of the hoof, and picking. When you go behind a horse, it's very important that you stay close, so you're gonna keep your hand on the horse, talk to them as you move around. We're gonna do her next hind foot. You can see she's already ready lifting it for us. The reason why we do it in this specific order is so that the horse knows and it makes it really successful for all of our volunteers and all of our students. The final hoof that we're going to do is the front right. So come over here again. You notice she's picking her hook up for me because she knows the drill. By doing it the same way every time, it's our way of letting the horse know this is what they are expecting every time they come into the cross ties and it helps keep some of their stress down. You'll notice I'm going again around the frog, not actually picking it, getting out all the debris and putting it down. We want to make sure that we are picking the horse's hooves to keep them clean and we want to check and see if there's any rocks that may have been in there. The next step that we're going to use is the curry comb. So all horses will have at least one curry comb in their brush box. They kind of look like this, rubber and bumpy, or sometimes they're circular with some ridges on them. So with the curry comb, we're going to come, I'm gonna use this one. Coming again, starting on the left side of the horse, big circles around the horse's shoulders. You can do the neck if you've got a little extra time, but the main important place is where the saddle is going to go. So we wanna do nice big circles. You'll notice she's shedding right now, so we're getting a lot of dried hair, or dirt and loose hair coming out. You also wanna check underneath here, making sure that there's no dried sweat or any dirt. This is where the girth is going to go for the saddle, so we wanna make sure that it's free of debris. A place that we wanna be very mindful of is the horse's flank. So this area here is very sensitive. You'll notice the hair kind of comes up in a different pattern. So we don't want to groom there. We want to stick to mainly the part where the saddle's going. Once you've completed one side, then you're going to walk around behind the horse in a U shape, keeping your hand on the horse. And you're going to start grooming on this side, up by the neck and working your way back down. All right, the final step for grooming is using the brush. We have a stiff brush, also called the dandy brush. Um, we have, the horses usually have plenty of, in there. So with this brush, we're going to again, start at the front of the horse on the left side and in flicking motions, kind of brush away all that loose hair and dirt and dander. We again, want to be mindful of the flank area. If your brush ends up getting a lot of hair on it like this, you can use the curry comb to brush it off. Helps clean it and continue on. Once you've done this side, again, you're gonna walk behind the horse, either having your hand on the horse or walking far enough away that the horse can't kick you. To get to the other side, starting at the horse's neck, working your way back towards the horse's tail.